Hey guys, it's Becky Kincaid with the Graphic Design Crash Course. Today we're going to be picking up right where we left off from the mood board in the last video. I'll be taking you from mood board to sketch and finally into Illustrator to get the final drafts. So keep on watching for the graphic design process. <laughs> intro on camera today and if you're watching on iTunes it's probably the first time you've seen my face so the first thing that I'm gonna do is go over to Pinterest where I have my mood board and if you watch the mood board video I specifically mentioned this dip dyeing thing that I want to try and also some triangles uh, like a triangle shelf creating that into some sort of like little logo illustration thing. So there's a couple things that you need when you're sketching. This is These things are probably obvious, but for those of you that like the step-by-step, -step, here we go. I sometimes use graph paper a lot for little like logo ideas mostly. For something like this where I'm doing more of a layout, I hate those little crinkly things on the edges of note paper. So I just buy Bristol paper and clip it into my dirty little thingy. So you don't have to be an artist to do this. Literally, I'm gonna show you. I'll just do speedy layouts in what I'm thinking and it's easy peasy. If you missed the last video, I'm doing wedding invitations. Okay, so the first thing I do, literally squares or rectangles, very simple. And for the triangle thing, I'm just going to kind of take a look. I don't know. So right now, I'm literally just drawing lots of triangles in different ways because I'm just kind of visualizing it. It's already not playing out the way I'm picturing it in my head, but this is what I mean. Design is just like a process. You may remember we I talked with my client. She really likes that minimalist style, so I'm going to be keeping that in mind for what I'm doing. Okay, those were just a few minutes, but as you can see, very messy, very random. I left little notes for myself. I made the layout that I kind of want. The main thing is knowing, like leaving notes for myself. I wanted to try a square layout because I think that would look really cool. And now is where, if you want, you could scan if you did really nice like layouts or designs or you're really good at illustrating things, you could scan that in. I am going to just recreate the layouts in Illustrator because I already kind of have an idea of what they're gonna look like. All right, so let's hop into Illustrator. So I have my little mood board next to me. If you are a total newbie, you need to have prints that have a bleed on it. So that's why I downloaded this template right from Moo to show you. If we have a box that is just within the size of the print, there could be, it could print with like a little bit of a white border and it could be uneven and all of that really great stuff. So just to make sure that it's totally centered and perfect and everything gets printed, you would want to be up against past the bleed. Along those lines, you also have the safe area, which is these dotted lines and you just want any print and anything important to be within that area. So, all right, so if these bother you, you can just select them and lower the opacity and you should be fine. You could also just hide them for now if you want to do that. Okay, before I get officially started, I also want to just say that this is for a client and for the sake of their privacy, I am removing some of the details of the wedding and their last names and all that good stuff. And I also just want to mention that this was a little piece that was part of the save the date that I just brought over because we specifically talked about keeping the typography the same and everything like that just to catch you up to date. All right, so this is me post recording and I'm in the middle of editing and I'm just kind of re-watching this and thought the best thing to do is to explain it as I go. So as you can see, obviously I've sped everything up. I decided to try that dip dye technique with the invitation and 
I really like how this looks, but there was a little bit too much empty space. I think that might be in part because I don't have all of the wedding invitation copy on here that because obviously of the privacy concerns. So this was playing around a little bit, but um, I do love those little brushy pattern type things. I got those from Creative Market and I will try to remember to put those in the description if I forget. Just let me know. Now I'm moving on to the triangle thing. I always say your first ideas are your worst ideas. So these did not turn out the way I had envisioned. I thought these were going to be like amazing and I even kind of think I cut some of the video out just because I didn't want this video to be like a billion years long. But um, I tried a bunch of variations, it just wasn't working. I'm also not totally sold on this yellow even just looking at it back. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know. So I decided to change it to a square because of the minimalist style that um, I just think if we end up not putting up too much information on the design, it just would look a lot nicer. It's also kind of a modern thing. I've been seeing like square business cards. I know I've talked about that before. And it just looks like super, I don't know, classy is the word I'm looking for, <laughs> maybe. Um, and look, I ended up being able to pull on that dip dye sort of I don't even know if that's what you'd still call it I don't even know if that's the right term but I pulled it in and I'm really at this point starting to like how this is going it has that modern minimalist look a focus on the important content all right I hope you thought that was helpful don't forget to like and subscribe and if you're watching this on iTunes give me a rating maybe you know why not subscribe and if you know anyone that would appreciate this uh Share it, maybe? I don't know. So, uh, next week's my birthday, so I have 20% off my course, which I just updated the content. No coupon re code required, so if you want to snag that deal, ba bam! Or ba bam this way. I'll get the hang of this, I swear. Bye! GraphicDesignCrashCourse.com slash learn you! Cool!